G'day folks. In this video I'm making some half inch by 26 TPI brass nipples. Running at 3000 RPM throughout. And although that looks alright there, you'll see when we get to the close up shots that the lathe is uh, really banging about quite something terrible. Anyway, uh, let's get into it and have a look at it. There's the parting tool used as a stop for the material. That flash that you just saw was the turret changing tools. And I had to put a six second dwell into the cycle to get the spindle running at a constant speed. At one stage I was getting an error saying that the speed was not of the spindle was not constant. So later on you'll hear the spindle making up and down noises as it changes speed and you'll see why I had to put the dwell in place. Here we're just using a 35 degree profiling tool to cut down some of the material. Now we're using a just a standard stub drill. Just using a short pecking cycle and using the drill to break the sharp edge on the corner of the hole. There's the parting tool. Job done. Here you can see the uncut crests on part of the thread. I was using a full profile insert but because the stock is not quite half inch and not quite round in places it was cutting the crest and in others it was not. In the next clip I've turned up the volume so you can actually hear the spindle hunting to find the right speed and then settling during the dwell. Right, we're back to normal volume now. This is the thread being cut again. I've sped it up a bit here. There's the profiling tool. That's just roughing a bit of the material away. Now this bit here, um, I've slowed it right down to 0.03 feed because with only five degrees of chamfer, sometimes uh, that finish can be quite rough there if you try and do it too quickly. I have to admit, when I was cutting these threads, and I like to think I can cut good threads, and that's why I use full profile inserts, but this part was jamming up in the tapped hole that I'd made as a test nut. And I found that actually the pitch was wrong. Well, the pitch was right, but the lathe wasn't cutting it correctly. So I had to actually adjust the pitch to suit the speed that we were cutting at. There's the finished parts. Quite pleased with them. Thank you for watching.